just got here to Richmond. Um, feeling good. The flight wasn't too bad. Uh, had a layover in Colorado, and then from there it was only like three hours to here, so it wasn't too bad. Luckily, I was able to fall asleep on the second flight, so I'm feeling a little energized now because I had to get up at 3 a.m. or 3:45 a.m. So yeah, I'm feeling a little tired. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go hit a workout. It's not really a workout. It's more of a just like get the legs shaking out a little bit. Um, this is the workout right here. My coach just sent it to me actually. Uh, so it's four to five uh, by two minutes on, one one off at FPR, down to tempo. And then uh, three to four, 45 on, 115 off at 5K. So it's pretty easy, just, you know, shaking out the legs, uh, getting the blood flowing. Uh, you know, I got a race in two days, so, you know, I'm feeling excited about it. I'm feeling strong. I uh, saw, saw a bunch of athletes on the plane on the way over here, actually. I saw some Tin Man, some Tin Man guys. Um, saw um, one of my old friends from my league, actually. She, she's here with her team, so yeah, it's cool. Cool seeing familiar faces, cool seeing pro faces. So yeah, I guess I'll get started on the workout right now. And um, thinking about making this like a two-part type thing, you know, I'm gonna do like the first two days of me being here, and then the final part will be race day and how that goes. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the warm-up. I don't think I've ever seen a Waffle House in person. There it is. The legend itself i'm gonna go in there cause a fight now nah, i'm just playing but um we out here uh heading over to this parking lot hit the work out there it's just a little sus right now because there's not really any freaking lights out here but uh honestly the cold ain't too bad it's kind of nice uh is that ice on the ground salt i don't know I hit my warm-up though. I need to stash my shoes somewhere. I'm thinking, uh, thinking right here's a good spot. Nice work. Feeling good? Yes, sir. Come on, man. Oh shit, what's good? What's good? Hey yo. Are you you still on your uh two ones? Uh yeah, yeah, I'm still on two days. Okay. We also got some Cali here. I I saw him, I just met him. Yeah. Yeah. That was good, y'all. I uh, just got done with the workout. Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, I ended up doing like, I think four at PR and three at 5K, so it's nice and easy. Hands are freezing. I, I took a little break after the workout. I was talking to somebody because they had a cool car. Um, so now I'm freezing, but oh well, cooling down. Really cooling down because it's fucking cold, but um, yeah, it's nice out here. I was just doing loops around the Walmart. Uh, solid sesh, nice and light. I think my coach might have got some footage of me during the workout. I don't know, I'll ask him. I don't know where he is now. He probably went back to the hotel, but yeah, I'm about to jog back to the hotel and uh, call it a night. Well, I guess we're gonna get food and then, and then we're gonna call it a night, but yeah, it's nice out here, cold, but ain't nothing I have. Ain't nothing I haven't handled before. I mean, this just feels like a cold day in Palmdale, honestly. So, I think I'm chilling. Right, what's up, y'all? Back here at the hotel. I'm um, about to go get dinner with my coach. Uh, we're gonna go to get some Applebee's. Should be should be pretty good. Um, workout was solid. Uh, legs feel just fine. Feel like they did before, honestly. It's more of a faster shakeout type of thing than a workout. Then, um, but yeah, um, I feel great. Uh, about to go grub up, and um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys at the Applebee's. We here with O. What did we just eat? Uh, man, we ate <laughs> we ate wings, we ate shrimp, we ate some fries, fries, uh huh, and we stayed hydrated. Stay hydrated. Yep, up here, Applebee's, Virginia. Yeah, Adonis had like five orders. I had like two. I'm trying to keep my figure. That's a lie. That's a lie. He's the one who ordered the most. <laughs> it was good, y'all. Just got back from Applebee's. Um, messed up about like four or five plates of wings and um, barbecue, or no, um, popcorn shrimp. It was all you could eat, so, you know, might as well take advantage of it. Uh, solid session of, or sol solid day of work today. I had a light, lighter workout, and, um, you know, it was just mainly a travel day. 
So yeah, tomorrow is my first full day in Richmond. Um, I might be meeting up with some of my boys from Cali tomorrow. So um, if I do, you'll see them. If not, you won't. But um, either way, I'm about to shower and then head to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Yo, what's up? Um, it's me, Matthew. Uh, it's, this is like way after the fact. I'm just adding audio to um, this part of the video because it's the pre-race. Uh, I'm just pretty much going to say what was going through my mind. At this time, I was just really cold, but really excited to be where I was. You know, looking around, there was a lot of pros. You know, it was just all the top runners in the country, regardless of age group or, you know, level. There's just a whole bunch of good runners everywhere and it was you know it was a cool experience and um you know I met a lot of cool people I met um the Santa Barbara coach who uh his athlete won state in the mile last year in California the same same year I won state for the two miles so it was cool talking to him because he uh recognized the name um you can see him there right there I was running with him um you'll see me oh yeah there there he is and um yeah, you know, it was, it was just a fun, fun day. You know, I was having fun. Um, you know, I, I'm not really the type of person to need to get locked in or anything. So, you know, I always have fun. And, um, you know, that, that was no different at this time. Really good close as he will move all the way up into fifth position. Berkeley Next finisher Nance. is Aiden Cox. Finishing in seventh is Matthew Donis. And now your top six finishers. Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm back here in California. The race, you know, it was a fun race. You know, it was cool doing real cross country. You know, there's hay bales and logs to hop over. And, um, yeah, it didn't really go exactly the way I wanted it to go. I finished seventh right outside of the qualifying mark. Top six made it. I finished seventh. So that definitely hurts. But, you know, I'm kind of psyched about it. You know, uh, I'm the type of person where if something goes wrong, I know the reason why it goes wrong and I work on it. I don't always fix it, but I work on it and I get better day by day. And, you know, this is, you know, this is probably the best thing that could have happened for me. Cause I think if I made the team, I would have, you know, been in the same mentality I was before the making or before the race, which, you know, obviously wasn't the best. And um, now uh, it's off to gaining more fitness and, but not just that, but also learning from the mistakes from the last block. Um, you know, we're going into track now, uh, no, no breaks taken, you know, I took a short break after state. So, you know, it's going to be a very long, long season, but you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I feel good. I feel ready. And, um, you know, time to just take all the strength that I was building for cross country and, you know, add some speed work to it and, you know, take it over to the track. And, um, you know, I'm happy now too, because this is not high school no more. You know, I could do real distances now, you know, I could do five and 10 K where I think I'll shine because, I think people didn't think I was a good track runner in high school because the longest I could go is two miles. And that's the reason why I would run the two miles is because that's the longest event there is. And now that I could do five and 10K, you best believe I'm gonna be doing five and 10K. I mean, I'm focusing on a 15 too because you know I wanna develop my speed further. But I think you know where I'm really gonna shine is in the five and 10K on the track and cross country, obviously. I'm a cross country runner at heart and that's why I wanna do the 10K mainly because you know it's a true distance runner. And, you know, once I can't do it on the track no more, then we switch over to the roads, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, you know, I didn't really get too much footage on race day because I was not really lasered or anything. I was just, you know, freezing. It was so cold out there, especially for me because I'm from California. I mean, I think 60 degrees is cold out here. So, you know, being in the 20s was definitely a big shock on the body. Um, I'm not saying that's what went wrong. I think what went wrong was me being weak in December and me being weak during the race. And um, I know that now, and I'll try to improve that, and I'll try to improve on what I went wrong, or what went wrong. So yeah, I'm not really too mad about what happened. You know, in the moment I was furious, but um, you know, looking at it now, looking back at it now, you know, seventh place U.S. Championship at a U.S. Championship is pretty good. I mean, and you know, being top six indicates that you're ready to be competing in the world stage and finishing seventh means you're the first person not able to compete at the world stage, which sucks. But I mean, it's great because like I said, I'm going to build on this and I'm going to improve on what went wrong and improve, improve in, um, you know, the little things that I haven't been doing. And, you know, I'm hoping that that prepares me to the next level. So yeah, I guess that'll be all. I mean, it sucks, but I'm happy.